Hello everyone, this week the Kung Fu Movement I'm going to share with you called the Double Block and Double Punch. Okay, I'm quickly show you how to do that. Stand here, nice, comfortable, sweet, my Double Punch. Again, you from this side. Sweet, Double Punch. Okay. Well, in Chinese, this is called uh, Yema Feng Song, but don't worry about the name. Later on, we can take more details. This movement is the one of draws in Shaolin Kung Fu. Let's practice the application for concept and also to build up the more strength, more power from your heel to your hip, to your shoulder, to your pant. As one. How this movement is. Let me talk about the first movement to block. This block, you see, you stand naturally, use the hands across, become like an X. See, from here, nicely across, right arm at the front, left arm under, and across from here. Okay, the distance, you see, my elbow with elbow, don't too far, is close your body. Rather than too far, we close. This is the hands work. You see again? Boom. Again. Boom. Again. So some of you maybe prefer right arm at the front, left arm behind, but that's fine completely. The knee has the knee will follow up. Eh? Up. Up. See this front. You can see my arm will protect my body. Rather than you stand like this. You can see the posture is slightly loose, but we need a little bit more tight. You like that? The knee up, attack as well. So the whole movement will be the same time. So block as well as the body lead up the same time up your knee. Okay, after this one, so you're landing the same time, hands become to your waist area. Then body lead at the same time, turn your heel. Then trans power like a hammer power. Body turn, turn, turn in the end. Double punch. Okay. During the punch, you can see my arm. This is my left arm. Always is bent. Do not straight, always bent. Your body stay in the central, rather too much forward, lost the balance. Okay, so here, power from here, my right heel, from right side to your west area, turn your body, move your heel, and double punch. Okay, the timing. Do not separate the movement. Do not one, Two, three, two, no, make one. You turn the same time, see my shoulder, exactly the same. But it's time to explosive power. Okay. Also, why we do this? This is usually for defense. You can imagine or think about if the hands on the heel or both hands push you at the same time, think about the block. You block off the hands. See the power is chop. Do not try open big. Huh? That's it. Finish. Think about the hands on. You block the up, the knee. You can use attack for glute area or stomach. The hands just take off the arm. And the same time, people will fall in and the knee on the stomach. So it's like mm. right. If you like, you can continue. After this, boom, push out. Oh, once you practice the movement, you can separate. Like just do one, huh? boom, you can use the head. But don't do that. I mean, you can imagine this concept or application for use. Once you master this movement well, you can change it. But this is the principle. Okay, so this is for this week. Make sure 
Sip the power together, then explode it. Pass your breath, your chi. Hold your breath in, then suddenly quickly hold your breath. Explode it. Heel, hip, shoulder, punch, breathe. Wah! Together. So explode the power. Okay, that's it for this video for this week. To block and double punch. I'll see you next week. Thank you.